Hello, what's up guys? Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and today I am going to bring you a top 10 strongest informed players. So this is only informed players, um, but that also means Team of the Year's Man of the Match cards as well. They're also included, but um, Legend cards are not included. They're not classed as informed. They're, they are base legends, basically. Uh, but you guys can find this kind of information out on websites like Foothead, uh, Footwiz as well. Do it. Uh, but I thought, why not put it into a video? Make it a little bit more interesting, give my thoughts on the players and also show you some possible teams as well. Um, if you enjoy this type of video and you would like to see me do some more videos just like this, uh, make sure you leave a like on the video. I was thinking maybe I could do like a top 10 fastest informed players video or even like a top 10 cheapest informs. I don't know. Leave your suggestions in the comment section. So guys, before we get into bringing the players in the team, if you need any Ultimate Team coins, make sure you go ahead over to onefifa.com. They sell Ultimate Team coins at a very cheap price indeed. They're extremely reliable and very fast. They also reply to people on Twitter, which is quite nice because some people or some websites don't actually reply to your tweets if you've bought coins and you're not getting them instantly, uh, but they always do. If you're going to order from them, make sure you use the discount code EZEKUELG for an extra 5% off. All links will be in the description as always. Before I start, uh, the way I'm going to work this out is I'm going to list them numerically. Um, obviously, strength is the most important, but if two or more players have the same amount of strength, I will next order it by pace. That seems to be the easiest and the fairest way to do it. I'm not sure if I could use balance or aggression, uh, but I, I went for pace. Um, all right, so let's get into it. Number 10 spot, we have a Christian Benteke. As you guys know, his normal card is absolutely crazy anyway, but this guy's got 96 strength as well as 82 pace, standing at 6 foot 3 with 87 jumping. Uh, but what the fuck, this guy's stats are just seriously mantle. It's actually, it's just a shame he's got re recently injured in real life because that means no more info inform cards from him. We're not going to see a second inform um, and possibly even a downgrade in FIFA 15. We'll have to see how he gets better and if he starts playing again and how he comes back and how he fights back. Anyway, moving into the number uh, 9 spot, we have the tall German centre-back from Arsenal, Per Mertesacker. Uh, per has 97 strength, so he's got one more strength rating than Benteke. He has 91 reactions, 99 heading accuracy, 92 marking, 94 standing tackle and 91 interceptions. And to top it all off, he stands at 6 foot 5. I mean, if this guy actually had pace, he would be so good in this game. Let's say if he had like 50 pace or more, it would actually make him usable. But for me, I just can't use someone with 36 pace. Uh, but team-wise, I managed to find a team with pretty much every type of squad builder. I just thought I'd go for something more fun than uh, good because you can't really have a good team with per murder in. That's my opinion. Sorry if, if you think not. Anyway, moving into number 8 spot, we have Bonds and Gala. Hopefully I did pronounce it right, but he's a bronze centre-back from Portsmouth with 97 strength. And apart from that though, his other in-game stats are pretty horrible. Uh, what do you expect? He is a bronze player though. Uh, he's 6 foot 2 tall and he's not completely slow, but for 60,000 coins, I think I would rather spend my coins elsewhere to be honest with you. Uh, but moving into the uh, number 7 spot, we have another centre back and he's uh, I'm warning you guys before I even try to pronounce his name that I'm probably going to say it wrong. I'm just going to pronounce it in my British accent anyway. His name is Virgil van Dijk. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure, um, but he's another tall one standing at 6 foot 3 with 98 strength. He also has really good uh, shooting with 96 shot power and 76 long shots, where, which is not bad for a centre back. He also has 67 pace, which isn't bad as well for a centre back. Team wise, I went for a Scottish league team, mainly with a mixture of Leeds players as well. Uh, but moving into number 6 spot guys, we have Felipe Melo, the Brazilian CDM from Galatasaray. This guy's in-game stats are actually incredible and I didn't realise until I went to make this video. And He's probably one of the biggest bargains of this top 10. He has 98 strength, 99 aggression, 91 standing tackle, 89 interceptions and you know that's just the defending kind of stats. He has possibly the best looking CDM stats I've seen on, on a card because... He also has high, high work rates as well, and for a CDM, that's exactly what I want. Um, but he also has some really good attacking abilities as well. Just looking at his shooting stats um, and his, his, his other stats like dribbling. And but team-wise, I went for Galatasaray, uh, Serie A, and a Bundesliga hybrid. So uh, if you want to build that team, go ahead, tell me what it plays like. Moving into the number five spot, 
we have a very recent inform in fact he only just come out that's why there is no price yet on the xbox or the playstation but if you want to know uh, what he currently goes for it's about 300,000 coins but obviously that will change in the next few weeks uh, but in game wise I'll tell you something pretty cool apparently this guy's uh, real in game rating is actually 92 uh, and looking at his card, it really doesn't surprise me. He has 98 strength, 99 aggression, uh, 97 finishing, 99 shot power, 99, 98 volleys, and 91 sprint speed. And that's just the top stats, you know. He's got better stats as well. But uh, team-wise, I went for a hybrid with uh, five-star skiller Moreno, some more Colombian players, and also some Serie A players too. Moving into the number four spot, guys, we have um, Dalibor. Vesi Linovic, I don't know uh, if I said that right, but uh, he has a crazy name. Let's now have a look at his crazy in-game stats. So, 99 strength, um, 84 shot power, and 79 finishing. That's not too shabby for a bronze player, I think, anyway. Uh, but team-wise, I went for a Serbian hybrid with David Luiz and Mertesaka in defence. Um, also, I forgot to mention, this guy is 6 foot 5. I mean, wow, that is a, that is pretty good going. Moving into the number three spot, we have another bronze in form called Farrell Grodziki with 99 strength again, 95 aggression, and a random stat of 83 passing. I don't know. I don't actually know this guy in real life. He might actually deserve that um, 83 long passing, but it was just a, a complete surprise seeing that in there. Generally, though, as a sense back, this guy will be just a little bit too slow if you play against a good team, but. Uh, Team-wise, I went for a cool silver and bronze hybrid with a few other uh, cheap informs as well that you could possibly try out. Moving into the number two spot, we have John Daly, uh, an Irish bronze inform striker from the Scottish Premier. He has 99 strength, stang standing at 6 foot 2 tall with 77 heading. In game wise, uh, like most of the bronze informers uh, in this top 10, he does lack a little bit of pace. And it, it, um, to be honest, I'm not sure if it'd be worth buying, but team wise, I went for a hybrid with uh, silvers and golds around him uh, with the likes of Megidi, Kabai, and Kalstrom. But lastly, moving into the number one spot, we have the big guy known as Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, the insane Swedish legend, this is the team of the year card as you can see, but even his second inform card has like 90, 98 strength overall anyway. Uh, but this card right here is apparently one of the best cards in the game to use, and I've never had the chance to use him, but his stats look incredible with 99s pretty much everywhere. Uh, if not 99, then it's above 90 anyway. Um, but he has 99 finishing, 99 long shots, and 99 shot power. Uh, but Jesus Christ, I mean, strength-wise, he even has 99 strength with 99 aggression and 96 agility. He also stands at 6 foot 4 tall, and he has 5-star skill and 4-star weak foot. And the reason he's in this top 10 as number 1 above all these other guys is because he has 82 pace which makes him the number one strongest informed player in the game by a long shot. I don't think anyone will ever beat him this year, uh, even if they get like, you know, their third or fourth inform. I don't know. But remember guys, this list can change at any time because inform cards are still being released today by EA. So my my prediction for this team is it won't really change anytime soon. And even though it does change, if it does change, Ibrahimovic will be the strongest. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this information video. If you'd like me to do more videos just like this, comment some suggestions down below on what possible top 10s I could do in the future. Um, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do. We are getting really, really close now to uh, 50,000 subscribers. Not really close, but we're all, almost there. 43,000 subscribers at the moment, so it would help out massively. Um, if you want to go a step further as well, leave me a like on the video and share this video out. Uh, that would be great. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. All my social media links as well are in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook if you have any questions or if you want to suggest some things over on there. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.